So before you start cutting, what you want to do is make sure you have a neat canvas before you start. All right, what I'm doing right now is I'm combing out the hair, laying the hair down, also lifting the hair off the scalp. That way, it's easier for the hair to feed into the teeth of the blade when you're cutting the top down. So my client wanted a number two on top, so I went ahead and grabbed my two guard with the lever open. I didn't want to cut it um, with the lever closed because I felt like keeping it thicker um, will give his waves uh, some depth. So I went ahead, grabbed the two guard, and I'm just slowly going with the grain of his pattern. Alright, starting off with the taper, I'm going to be setting my bald line in using my JRL 2020Ts to set in my bald line in a triangle like shape. I like setting my bald lines in this way because it gives a different transition to your blend. It kind of makes it look like a circle effect. So um, whenever I do my tapers, I want to be different. I want my clients to go out and somebody to say, hey man, who cuts your hair? Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to debulk with my one guard. I usually go in with the lever open, but I decided to debulk and kind of get a clear visual on what I need to do. So right now, I'm just going over that triangle-like shape, still keeping that circle that I want, and just going over the guidelines multiple times, going up about an inch. That way, it's at that one guard length. Next, I'm going to grab my two guard with the lever open and debulk the top, basically making everything flow um, into that two guard with the grain that's on top. Now with no guard with the lever fully open, I'm going up about a half inch, making sure I go around that triangular like shape. Now I'm gonna put back on the one guard and close the lever and basically just soften that middle line up. All I'm doing is using my corners the entire time. Now with the zero guard with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Now, keep in mind when I use this one guard with the lever closed, I was just softening up that line um, to make it easier to take it out with this zero guard. So use your corners and just, you know, attack below the line and flick to the line. So sometimes that, you know, zero guard won't be able to take out 
um, that middle line. So I'll just kind of detail it and go with my lever open and kind of just take out those areas where I see bulk. Now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Remember, it's just like every other flick out step. Start below the line, flick to the line. Detailing is the most important part to the blend and that's what you want to do lastly All right, what I like to do is I like to rest my eyes for a minute or Refer to the mirror the mirror gives you a different perspective on the blend that you can't see just head-on. All right um, I like to use my corners of the blades or I like to use different guards that I set in my guidelines um, Whatever you can do to try to you know clear out those bulk areas use your corners when doing it Now I'm gonna use my Babyliss shavers to just try to add another transition to the bottom. This is making it razor bald, which makes it look a lot cleaner. Right now, whatever you do to the top, I did to the bottom, just in reverse on how to blend. So right now I'm going to put some shaving cream on my client's lineup and beard. Basically this dries up the skin, cleans the skin, and um, it leaves the skin nice and dry after it's all uh, done. That way I can put a nice crispy line on it.
Velocity 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 Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, I spin them in a the full 360, and they come out looking like Damn, son, we make it look easy. YouTube, this is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, Links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 GZ and my Instagram is 360 GZ. But it's your boy 360 GZ, and I'm out of here.